A lot of people ask me this question. Lucas, what are the main advantage high level has compared to other similar tools? And I'm going to talk about one of them here in this video, which are snapshots. Snapshots are the key features for people who are using the SaaS plan. With snapshots, you can clone the whole environment, a whole sub account, get all the settings, get funnels, workflows, the whole calendars with the settings. So you can clone a whole environment so you don't have to build everything from scratch anymore. You can use snapshots as a starting point for all your sub accounts. You can use snapshots to sell as a lead magnet. You can use snapshots in several ways. And in this video, I'm going to show you the best practices for snapshots. I'm going to show you how you can create one, how you can import snapshots to sub accounts, and also what is included on snapshots, what you can and what you cannot transfer. So if you like content like this, Please subscribe to this channel, leave your like in this video, and editor, play the intro. What's up, everyone? Lucas Dentas here, bringing another high-level content. Today, we're going to talk about snapshots. I briefly explained what snapshots are in the beginning of this video, but to simply put, snapshots are simply the main feature that's going to save you tons of time when it comes to high-level. I've been to the Level Up Summit last year, and I've seen the main companies who are selling CRM as SaaS, they are doing in a niche way. So these companies, they are creating one single environment, one sub account. They are building the funnels from scratch, the workflows from scratch, the all the calendars, the calendar logic, custom values, everything that you can put in a sub account. They're building that from scratch, but then they are cloning that into a snapshot. And then they are creating a snapshot, which is a clone of that environment and then selling through other sub accounts. And I've seen several companies doing that in the level up summit. So in today's video, that's what I'm going to show to you. And to start, I'm going to show you four niche CRMs that could inspire you to create your own. So here I am sharing my screen to show the first example. Lead AR, this is a company that focuses on mad spas, uh, aesthetic clinics. And when you get one of their accounts, they deliver funnels, calendar, automation, email sequence, templates of SMS messages for clinics, for aesthetic clinics. And some of them are even treatment specific. So there's a Botox automation that they wait in a specific amount of days. And there's another procedure and they wait a different amount of days. So they do treatment specific automations. So they understand more about this market. And that's why they, they are able to go into this nitty bitty when it comes to delivering these types of assets ready to, ready to use in this sub accounts. And I know that because I recently acquired a, a client that used to work with them and I cloned one of their funnels. This is a Christmas funnel that I have cloned from last year. And here you can see uh, the whole sequence, like it's 12 pages and they call it 12 days of Christmas. And what I thought was interesting is that every month they send out an email with a training so people can go themselves into these funnels and make the proper changes. You know, maybe changing the color, changing the font, changing the copy to reflect the services that these people are offering. So they deliver everything every month. They deliver some automations, they deliver some funnels. So that's how they roll when it comes to selling CRM as SaaS. The other example I would like to show is VBLEAD. And you're already familiar with this login screen. Let me just go back once. So I've seen several ads from this company and you will see it too. Right after you visit the website, you're going to be bombarded with ads from them. But I really like what they have done because they focus on videographers and they have the funnels for videographers. The comparison that they do is focused on tools that videographers would use. Here, they show how they can make their life simpler with VidLead Studio. And they show here, uh, everything that's included and I saw their plans here. I saw they, they, they deliver a 14 day bootcamp, like a challenge of 14 day where they will teach you how to use stuff. Uh, the mentorship that you can schedule coaching calls with them. They deliver a, a whole bunch of templates, website, funnel, emails, automations. And they also do the one-on-one -on -one onboarding, which is making sure that you are set up on your first day. So that's genius from them. I really like what they have done and checking their plan. Only one plan, simple. I like that too. So a 14 day trial. The only main difference is the $200 you're going to save on the annual plan. So they make it really simple. 
straightforward, focusing on one niche and probably their internal team don't have to spend a whole lot of time when new clients come in. So genius from them, really like what they have done. And the other two examples, one of them is this one right here, real estate growth agency. This one is slightly different because they don't provide their uh, their plans on the on the website. You need to book a call with them in order to, uh, to be onboarded on their CRM. But what I imagine what happens is there's, there's several business models inside of real estate. So imagine they talk to each one of these people when you book a call with them and based on your profile, they will probably find the snapshot that similar to your profile, the best fit for you or, or based on how you do business. Uh, but they have here like use cases, social proof showing people who have used their software and they were successful. Here they have an explanation of how they guarantee their results with the services they provide. Thinking that they provide this, oh, they have also this table comparison right here. Kind of partial, right? But it's okay. They need to show that they're the best, right? So that's fine. And since they make it require to book a call in their website, I see two scenarios. One of them is that they might provide some like one-on-one -on -one assistance. And the other one, and I just thought about that, is that they could sell as an affiliate too, based on how these people do their business. So this is a CRM niche for real estate. And the last one, is Coachmatic, and this is a CRM focused on coaches, for online coaches. And when you go through that page, you see they specifically say that's only for coaches. They do it right here, only for coaches. And I'm not sure if they provide their plans here. They have built their page kind of a high level, right? Very similar to what high level has done. And they only have one plan. So unlimited leads, unlimited domains, everything that we are you should see, and they have one single plan, ninety-seven dollars a month. That's nice. I haven't gone through that funnel. I imagine they have other upsells too. All these four companies that I've shown here, they are either gold or platinum partners of high level, and I seen all of them in the Hall of Fame in the Level Up Summit I went last year. So these companies are doing this successfully, and that's why I'm bringing them up here. Maybe that inspire you for you to create your own CRM. So enough with the talk, enough with the theory. Let's go to high level because I'm going to teach you how you can create a snapshot, how you can import snapshots, what's included on snapshots, what's not included, and let's go. So let's get to work and create a snapshot. First of all, I want you to go to the agency view and then click on account snapshots on your left side. And this is the screen you're going to see. And before we create a new snapshot, you see the button right there on your right side. Let's just talk about what we see here on the screen. So if you have created snapshots before, you're going to see right here all the snapshots you have created. If you have never created one before, this is going to be empty. But as soon as you create one, it's going to show up in this section right here. If you go to imported snapshots, you're going to see all the snapshots you have imported in any moment uh, while you have this account. So all the snapshots you have imported, maybe because you have purchased, because someone has shared with you, you will see here. And you can see also the dates that you have imported these snapshots. You see, on shared snapshots, you can see all the times you have generated a link and sent to someone. So every time that you come here, and then you share a snapshot and then you generate a link, you're going to show up right here on the shared snapshots. So this is kind of like a, a record of all the times you have shared a snapshot with someone. Every time you have generated a link, because if you have generated a link and then several people use that link, it's not going to show here every time someone downloads that. But every time you generate a new link, it's going to show up. And the last is snapshot templates. We are familiar with this. Every time you create a sub account, you see this as an option. And every now and then you might see a new one or even new uh, features inside of the existing ones. So every now and then high level will create a new snapshot and put available here. And it's kind of nice because you start a sub account with some, some automations as a starting point, like some funnels as a starting point, right? So you don't have to build everything from scratch. So let's create our snapshot. The first thing we're going to do is to click on create snapshot, and then we're going to add the name of the snapshot. So I'm going to name Lucas, okay? And then I'm going to select the sub account here. I'm able to select the sub account. I want to clone. So everything that's on that sub account, I'm going to clone. We're going to see what is this everything that I'm talking about. So all the clonable items, all the clonable assets 
from this sub account, you will clone and create a snapshot. So you can import into other sub account in the future, or you can sell that uh, as a snapshot, or you can use on your SaaS plan to sell a sub account with that structure already for the user. Uh, so you can select what sub account you want to use here. I'm just going to select this first one. And when you click on next, we see this screen and we are not allowed to use to select what's going to be included or not. Everything is going to be included. And when I say it, everything is all these assets here. So ad campaigns, when you're using a uh, high level ad manager, blogs, calendars, campaigns, conversation AI. So all the agents that you build, you can now package into a snapshot and resell it, share with other people, uh, or even be part of your uh, SaaS packages. Custom fields, custom values, dashboard. Uh, this one, I, it's worth mentioning because if you are not on SaaS plan, you cannot do custom dashboards. So this will not work for people who are not on the SaaS plan. Documents and contracts, email builder templates, folders, forms, funnels and website, trigger links, membership offers, membership products, those are the courses. Right, membership products are the courses. Pipelines, review settings, section templates. These are for the funnels, websites, and stores. Social planner. These are settings in the social planner. Service, uh, tags, calendar groups, tags and email templates. These are the, the snippets that we see on the marketing menu. Triggers, this is being discontinued, so I'm not sure why they're still being included. WhatsApp templates, so High Level recently added WhatsApp templates inside of Snapshots. So all those templates that you sent for approval, now you can also package them into a Snapshot to commercialize with you, to offer to your clients, to share on your Snapshot that you sell. And of course, all the workflow automations, uh, everything here. So when I'm done, I click on create. And after I refresh my screen, I will see right here, there's a new snapshot being created and I can follow the progress by looking at this icon right here. When it's ready, what I can do is click here, share the snapshot, and then I click on get link. I can uh, share this link with other people and they are able to import. But you can do this in several ways. You can get a one-time share link. So that link which is going to be used one time and then it's going to be expired. Uh, you can do email share link, which allows you to put a bunch of emails here, uh, enter one per line, and then every single one of those uh, recipients will get this snapshot so they can port. Uh, agency restricted link. You, you add the agency relationship number, the agency ID number. You can add commas. So you can add all the agencies that you allow to import your snapshot. Sub account restricted links. Then you can do the sub account uh, ID, the location ID of each sub account that you allow them to import your uh, your snapshot. And the last ones get marketplace share link. This is when you want to uh, share your snapshot through Marketplace. So other than that, you can also refresh your snapshot. Let's say that you have made changes on your sub account, and then you want those changes to be reflected on the snapshot. Then you click on refresh snapshot. And next time they import that new link, they will see the new changes on that snapshot. And, and the other thing that you can do when you already have several sub accounts using your snapshot and you made a change, you can click on push update to link sub accounts it will show all the sub accounts you have available uh, i have one right here to show as an example so this one for example so it shows all the sub accounts i have with that snapshot so i can make changes and then i click on select all and then proceed which means that all these sub accounts will be updated with the latest changes i have made on that snapshot well we created a snapshot and now I'm going to show you how we can import that snapshot. Uh, before I show you how we can import the snapshot to an existing sub account, I'm going to show you how you can create a new sub account from a, a generated snapshot. So here on my snapshots, you see that for each snapshot that you have here, there's a plus icon that says create new account. So from here, I think it's pretty obvious what needs to be done. All you have to do is to click on create new account. And then uh, here you can search for the business name or you can add manually this part is very easy and in this channel you'll find a video on how to create a sub account so this part is very easy and now i'm going to show you how you can import 
a snapshot into an existing sub account. First of all, you're going to click on sub accounts. Then you're going to search for the sub account. After you have found the sub account, you're going to click on these three dots right here. Then click on manage client. And you're going to see that on your right top corner, there is this option to load snapshot. When you click on load snapshot, you're going to see all the snapshots available for your agency. You're going to see imported snapshots, uh, snapshots that you have generated, which are this own, and also the snapshots that high level made available for you, which are the vertical. Here, you can select any of the snapshots. You can only import one snapshot time by time. So if you need to import several snapshots, you need to repeat this process that many times as, as you need to repeat, okay? Uh, so I'm going to choose any one of these just to show you how this works. So we click, after you select the snapshot, we're going to click on proceed. And here, remember that when you were creating the snapshot, we were not able to select what was going to be included and what was not going to be included. We can do that when we import the snapshot. And you see here everything that's included, all the custom fields that are going to be imported, all the custom values, all the dashboards, all the forms, funnels and websites, and also workflow. And you can select whether or not you want all of them. You can only select, for example, if you want, you can only do the workflows. The only problem is that if in the workflows they are using custom fields, you will need to rebuild those custom fields so you need to adapt your workflow to work in this new setup. So if you don't want to have any problems, my device will be importing everything. But if you are an advanced user, you know what you're doing, you know what, what you need to import and what you don't need to import. And after that, you click on proceed. It's going to check all the conflicts. Usually what we see here is the missed call text back, but a lot, most people don't use the missed call text back that's native on high level on the business profile uh, section. So if you're not using that, don't even worry about overriding or skipping because it won't make any difference. I see a lot of people doing that through automation and that's what I would recommend you to do as well because you have more control over. But if you are using the native one, make sure that you skip that. And after that, you can click on proceed and everything is going to be imported. That's not what I want to do here. I already have the sub account ready. I don't need to import anything, but at least you know now how this works. So the goal of this channel is to provide the best valuable content for people who want to learn about high level. I love CRMs. I was a certified Microsoft professional. I have a certification on dynamic CRM. I have worked with Salesforce. I have worked with Zoho CRM. I have worked with HubSpot. And I just fell in love with high level. This tool is just amazing. And I have created a business last year based on high level and it was the best decision I have made in my whole life. And before we end this video, I would like to give you two recommendations. We talked about snapshot, how it's important to, to be niched and how to personalize uh, a solution. And that's why it's important for you to learn how to create custom fields. So I'm going to put a video right here about custom fields. And also I'm going to put a video here, how you can create a team calendar on high level. Guys, thank you so much. See you on the next one.